kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here in the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding the New York Giants from 2015 here on Madden 24 on the PC. That is right, we are back another episode and today is finally the day where we have our future franchise quarterback ascend to the throne Patrick Mahomes is going to be the starter. He sat behind Eli Manning last episode, but it's his game now. Mahomes will start. He's got Tyreek Hill. He's got Cooper Cup. He's got Odell Beckham Jr. He's got a lot of weapons to throw to. He's got rookie Nick Chubb. It's Chubby time. He's got him as his running back. The offense line's okay. It's okay. He's got Mark Andrews and George Kittle to throw to. On defense, he's got Jalen Ramsey. He's got Joey Bosa. He's got Jadeveon Clowney. He's got Landon Collins. There's a lot of weapons on this team, both on offense and on defense. This could be the year where we make a playoff push and dominate. Hit that like button if you're going to enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Join the Juice Club. And let's get straight into it. So here we are. The year is 2018. And we are headed into the Patrick Mahomes era. Superstar development. 81 years old, only 22, 81 years old, 81 overall, only 22 years old. And look at the cannon this man possesses. And he's got a great arm too. Patrick Mahomes, unbelievable that we have him on the team. And then we've got the man, the myth, the legend, chubby time, Nicholas Chubb. I'm hoping his knees don't explode in this rebuild. We've obviously got Odell, we've got Tyreek, we got Cooper Cup, we got Willie Sneed, we got, uh, who is this? <laughs> Davis. Jeremy Davis, I don't remember you. But you're on the team, okay. And then we've got uh, James Washington as well. We've got Mark Andrews, Will Ty, George Kittle. Offensive line needs a little bit more work, a little bit more nurturing, but we'll get there. And then on the defense, I already mentioned Landon Collins, Joey Bosa, Jalen Ramsey, uh, Jadavion Clowney, but we also got Ionitis, we got Hankins, we got Judon, we got Manti Te Ma excuse me, Manti Teo now at middle linebacker, Hassan Reddick is star development, I'm hoping he plays well again this season and goes up to superstar development, that would make that draft pick look a little bit more, uh, smart, but it's time, everybody's favorite part of uh, any one of these episodes, it is the 2019, I passed it, there it is, <laughs> the 2019 draft class, Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Let me just make sure it is the right draft class. Because 2018 is Saquon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already had this. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Perfect. I just wanted to make sure that I had the right year. <laughs> I didn't want to screw anything up. 2019 draft class. Kyler Murray, Nick Bose. Okay. So quarterback, we're pretty good on. But I could use a backup for Patrick Mahomes. We don't need Kyler Murray. We definitely don't need Daniel Jones. RIP Dwayne Haskins. I'll put him on the board just for uh, Buckeye's sake. Definitely don't want Drew Locke or Will Greer. Maybe Minshew Mania. That could be something. Trace McSorley. Could be fun. Doesn't he have a song about him? I think he does. And then running backs. We just got Nick Chubb. So we're not going to be in the running for a top guy. But a guy in the second round like a David Montgomery or Devin Singletary. Even a Damian Harris. Uh, ooh, Bryce Love could be a sneaky one. Or an Alexander Madison or Benny Snell. Tony Pollard, day three. I mean, look, it's, there's some value down the board for a backup. That is for sure. Ooh, Mike Weber. Uh, there is some some value down the board for sure. Wide receivers. You got Debo, A.J. Brown, D.K. Oh, Terry McLaurin. This wide receiver class is so good. Deontay Johnson, Paris Campbell. Oh, this draft class is so good with wide receivers. Hunter Henry even. Why does Travis Fulgham have a background? I don't know. Jacoby Myers is even here. Oh, I feel like we're going to come away with at least one really good receiver. Maybe even two. Okay, there's some good ones. Tight end. Uh, Hawkinson. No offense, but we're not really in the market for tight end. I'll just keep him on the board just in case. Foster Moreau even. 
man, 2019's draft class was pretty solid looking back on it. Tackles, we could certainly be in the market for a tackle. I'm not going to put that out. Andre Dillard, Dalton Reisner. Other people? Right, not really. <laughs> Guards, Cody Ford, Nate Davis. Uh, this is the first time I've dealt with the 2019 draft class in one of these videos. Not even in a rebuild video, so we got to get used to it. Centers, Elgin, Elton Jenkins just to move him to guard like he normally plays. Eric McCoy, or like he can play, I should say. Eric McCoy is a nice value center, certainly. Right guard, ooh, Chris Lindstrom. And that's about it for right guards. That's okay if we draft, uh, if we draft Elton Jenkins, we can just move him to right guard. And then right tackles, Jawan Taylor, maybe. Michael Jordan. But he didn't look that good. Clip that one up. Uh, okay, okay, here we go. Defensive ends. Rashawn Gary could be a nice pass rusher. Put him in our as a linebacker, and we might be golden there. Chase Winovich could be something. But there's not really anybody else. Obviously, Bosa and Burns and Sweat. I mean, those three guys. I don't think we're going to get any of those three guys, but I got to have them on the board. Uh, O'Shea Jimenez could be a nice outside linebacker option for us. Charles Amenehu could be a nice D-tackle. What else we got? Actual D-tackles. Quinn and Williams, Ed Oliver, Christian Wilkins. I don't know if we're going to be in the market for any of these guys, but I got to put them on the board because we certainly could be in the market for a Christian Wilkins, Dexter Lawrence type. I could see that for sure. What else we got? Greg Gaines could be a nice pickup if we don't end up getting any of the top guys. And then outside linebackers, Josh Allen, definitely have to put him on there. Dre Greenlaw. I feel like we're going to come away with some players in this class. We are going to come away with some players. Middle linebacker, you got Devin White, you got Devin Bush, both the Devins. Jelani Tavai, Bobby Okereke, Andrew Van Ginkle. There's some options. There is some options. I need to see how many draft picks we actually have. Sion Taki Taki, Cody Barton, Blake Cashman, Quincy Williams. And then you got corners, Byron Murphy, not DeAndre Baker, Sean Murphy Bunting, Greedy Williams, Trayvon Mullen, even Julian Love, or Justin Lane, Jamel Dean, Amani Oriwarawe. I said that really weird. Amani Oriwarawe. Amani. <laughs> Who else? Anybody else down the board? Not really. Eh. Free safeties, Darnell Savage, Nasir Adderley, Chauncey Gardner-Johnson for sure, Deontay Thompson. Man, I feel like I'm putting a ton of people on my board. Strong safeties, Jonathan Abram, Taylor Rapp, maybe, Amani Hooker, uh, hardly know her. Donovan Wilson. Okay, kickers, not, nah, punters. The Scottish Hammer, maybe. We'll keep an eye on him. What a what a class! What a board I've got! I've got a I've got a crazy draft board. There are a lot of guys that I got my eye on. That is for sure. I don't know who we're gonna get or where we're gonna go with it, but it is gonna get pretty crazy. Let me take a look at my draft picks real quick. What are we working with so I can kind of get a feel for where we need to go? So we've got two seconds, two thirds, a four, no five, and a six and a seven. Okay, that is manageable that's a lot that's pretty good haul we might need to trade willie sneed especially if we're going to come away with a receiver in this class willie sneed's making way too much money same kind of deal with like cameron Brait. he's just not fit in the mix when we have george kittle as well so maybe we could compile a few guys and get another first round pick it's possible it's doubtful, but it's possible. We'll see how we'll see how it goes. We'll start simulating. See where we are first. We need to see at the midseason mark what we're gonna be doing. Also, we need to know like who needs the contract extensions, all that kind of stuff. So I will simulate to the midseason mark. And I will catch back up with you guys when I'm there. We have arrived at the midseason mark, week number eight, and we currently sit at four and three. That is good enough for the top of the division, but it's still early, obviously. We got a lot of stuff to talk about though. We got negotiations. We have a good amount of money and some interesting players up for re, uh, for extensions. We'll probably accept the options on those two guys, just so we can have another year of them. But we need to bring back a couple of guys and probably trade a couple of guys, if we're being totally honest. 
Uh, we need to bring back Eric Flowers for sure. I want to make sure he's locked up for a good amount of time, and he's coming back. Okay, so Eric Flowers is locked up. Willie Sneed wants to come back, but I mentioned earlier that we might trade him. Will Ty? That's a lot of money for a tight end. I don't know if we're going to bring Will Ty back. Prince of Mucamara, I could give a s small deal to, I guess. He's coming back, okay. So $14 million to figure out what's next. If we didn't sign these two guys, then we would only have Mark Andrews and George Kittle. I'm fine with that. And I think all of those guys together... Oh, DRC is probably too expensive. $14 million I think we're going to keep. I'm probably going to trade all those guys. And maybe all of them together we can accomplish our goal of getting another first round pick. But mock draft number two has Quinton Williams going number one. The Saints have back-to-back -back picks. That can't happen. I don't want the Saints to. Broncos could get Kyler Murray. Eagles could get Daniel Jones. Hawkinson. Bosa dropped all the way to eight. If Bosa keeps falling, I doubt he will. He'll probably climb back up. But if Bosa keeps falling, we can trade up and get Bosa. Rashawn Gary. I thought for a second that that was our pick, but that's that's the Browns, not us. Uh, we currently sit with a pick at 24 and grabbing DK Metcalf, which I don't hate, but in the second or in the first round, probably not. Christian Wilkins is down here as well. This is only mock draft number two. A lot of stuff is going to change. But if Bosa keeps dropping, I'm certainly not going to hesitate. National focus. Uh, the outside linebacker is a weakness, but that's okay. Uh, what are, So the strengths are D-tackle and corner. What do I have the most of? I think I have a lot of D-tackles, don't I? I have a good amount of tackles. Corners. I have a lot of corners. But I have defensive end as my scout. I forgot to change it. So I'm probably going to need to have defensive end be my thing. Just so we can get that extra 25% boost. I know it's not a strength, but I need to remember to change my, my scout. I forgot to do it this episode. So that's on me. But we will advance the week. See if we keep winning or if we keep losing, I guess. We do lose again. If we continue to lose, I might just trade those guys before the end of the season. And it looks like we're just sucking right now. I don't know what's going on here. If we lose to the Packers, I'll, I'll make that decision. We do lose to the Packers. I think I think the time is here to cut bait on some of these guys. Like Will Ty, Cameron Bray, Willie Sneed. Are they going to matter that much? Maybe not. But we could end up with a first round pick if we package the right people together. So Willie Sneed and Cameron Bray probably not by themselves can get us a first round pick. But they might not need to. We might be able to get somebody else. I don't know. The Bears have pick one. Not shocking. Maybe we could talk to the Arizona Cardinals for pick 13. Probably not. We could probably only ask for like a pick in the late 20s or 30s. Like the Colts with pick 26. That's still not even that great. But I haven't even thrown in Will Tye. I was hoping I could get away with not having to... I can make two separate trades, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. So, do you want DRC? Probably not. Oh, they did. Whoa! I didn't think Dominique Rogers Camardi was going to make that go through, but we have two first round picks now. I honestly, I did not see that coming at all. I did not see him getting traded like that that easily. And now we got to get rid of Will Ty. We can get Patrick Chung, but he's 31. Caleb Brantley. There's got to be somebody who wants Will Ty for a, a decent draft pick, right? Maybe a player? We need a middle linebacker. Who is our middle linebacker now? It's Manti Teo, isn't it? Yeah, Manti Teo. Kind of expensive, though. Oh, God. I forgot they had TJ Watt. Oh, give me TJ Watt. I would honestly give up a first round pick. 2020, 2021. 
I don't remember what the 2021 draft class had, but I would give a, a first round pick for TJ Watt. What about, oh, TJ and Miles. Where's Miles at? Okay, no, My Miles, is, Miles is a little bit harder to get. That's okay. Because I can give up a third round pick in 2019, but do I really want to do that? I can give up a third round pick in 2020. They like that. What about a third round pick in 2019? Do I want to do that? I could give up my third round pick in 2019. What about my fourth round pick in 2019? That gets very close. And then how about a sixth in 2021? So we'll tie a first in 2021 and a bunch of other stuff gets us TJ Watt. So we do end up with TJ Watt, which is something that I wanted at the beginning. This is a little bit crazy now because TJ Watt will start at right outside linebacker over Kennard. And now we got Watt and Reddick. All right, that was a trade that I didn't think I was going to make, but I did. We have two first round picks this year. Now it's from the Colts, which is going to be pretty bad. Ooh, I almost skipped before I did my stuff. It's from the Colts, which is going to be pretty bad. But we might be pretty bad. So you never know. All right, so who do we want to use these points on? Maybe one of these two. Maybe like an AJ Brown or a DK. Let's go AJ Brown first. And then we might need to use some on an offensive lineman like an Elton Jenkins type. And then maybe Rashawn Gary. But we already know we don't need to use Rashawn Gary because we already know 95% on him. I forgot he was a D lineman. Uh, probably one of the tackles, actually. One of the D tackles. Yeah, let's use it on... Let's use it on Dexter Lawrence. So we'll know A.J. Brown, Elton Jenkins, and Dexter Lawrence for week 11. I think that's pretty solid. And then all of my players that are ready to negotiate are guys that I don't really care about. And then we'll obviously accept those options. The fifth years are going to be nice for those. Are we going to lose to the Eagles? The Eagles are also having a bad season, so we could end up winning this game. And we do. Okay. Not what I expected. Are we going to make a, a run? Are we going to be better now that I traded away those guys? That'd be pretty funny if we were. <laughs> okay, we do lose to the Steelers. I feel like we're just going to be put in no man's land. Where we're not like amazing, but we're not awful. And we're also like not in the playoffs. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this simulation so far. It's kind of the vibes I'm getting. But also we did add JJ Watt, so that might help. Or TJ Watt, I mean, not JJ Watt. We beat the Colts. That's good because we have their draft pick. <laughs> now we play Washington. We beat Washington. Why are we winning all these games? This is crazy. Odell's a true 99. He's already been a true 99. We play the Rams and then Washington again. If we could win these games, somehow we could win this division. I don't know how that's possible. Okay, we lost to the Rams. But the Cowboys also lost. So, I mean, it's it's in play. If we beat Washington here, we got a chance for the wild card. And we do. We play the Rams, the team we just lost to a couple weeks ago. And uh, Patrick Mahomes is a true 85 overall now. What a weird season. I mean, to be fair, I didn't trade anybody that was, like, super significant. But I still traded some, some good depth. And we still ended up winning more games than we lost after I did that. So Mahomes in his rookie season had 3,700 yards, 23 touchdowns, 18 picks. He needs to cut that down a lot. We could change this offense to fit Patrick Mahomes and go to the Kansas City offense. Nick Chubb had 1,000 yards, 4 touchdowns. Odell had an even 1,000 with 3 touchdowns. Cooper Cup had almost 1,000 yards, 8 touchdowns. Tyreek had a good year as well. Defensively, Manti Teo had 126 tackles, 106 for Hassan Reddick. Uh... Prince Mukamara had 80. TJ Watt had an okay year. Hankins and Clowney led the team with 20 tackles for loss. Kennard had 17. Reddick had 16. Bose had 14. Sack leader was Clowney with 10. Bosey 7. Bosey. Bosa 
was seven and a half. Reddick had six. Pick, uh, pick leader was Ramsey with four. Teo with three. So did Amukamara. All right. What playbook are we running, by the way? I don't even know. Are we running Giants playbook? What are we running? Team schemes. Uh, yeah, we're running Giants. I might switch this to Packer playbook, actually. I might switch us to Packer playbook because we know that Packer playbook has gotten Aaron Rodgers a bunch of MVPs in these simulations. So if we switch to Packer playbook, if I can find it, did I pass Green Bay? Where? There it is. I passed it. Okay. And then we'll go on defense. We'll switch to... We'll try Dallas's defense. I don't know if in this different simulation or different uh, modding stuff, if it is as effective as it is in, in the base game. But we'll give it a shot. So Mahomes, Chubb is an X Factor. That's good to know. Chubb is now an X Factor. Mahomes is looking good on defense. Hankins is playing well. Ionitis, for some reason, has dropped over Kim Deach. I thought I switched that. Corners are looking good. TJ Watt now here. I like that. All right, we'll see if we can beat the Rams. I don't know if we will be able to. I really don't know. I mean, we lost them during the regular season. But we beat them. 17-14, we moved to the divisional round of the playoffs. Patrick Mahomes is that guy. We take on the Seahawks, who are in their prime as the Legion of Boom. This is going to be a bloodbath. I would expect the Seahawks to win by 20. We win 17 to 14 and we take on the Green Bay Packers. I did switch the playbooks, so I guess that is helping. I don't know, but we're taking on the team that we switched to. The Packers are 11 and 6. It's the NFC Championship. Our first ever NFC Championship in this series. Are we, should we jump in? Uh, we'll, we'll let it ride. We'll let it ride. We're a nine and eight team. The Giants have done this type of thing before. We lose 48 to seven. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen or not, but hey, that's a really good, a really good season. We go to the NFC championship, probably well ahead of schedule. And I think the main reason we did is because we ran Packer playbook. So next season could be really, really good. If Mahomes gets a full year under that playbook. Because I'm assuming Aaron Rodgers is going to win the MVP again. I mean, he was in the lead, the third place for a passing yard. So I would guess he'd win the MVP again. He always wins the MVP. So something's going to happen. It's Chargers Packers Super Bowl. And it's Chargers who beat the Packers 24 20. So San Diego's got themselves a championship. Congratulations. Teddy Bridgewater of the Vikings is the MVP of the league. And the offense player of the year, Mitch Trubisky. Mitch? Mitchell Trubisky won an MVP in the Super Bowl. That is insane sentence that I just said. Cortland Sutton, offensive rookie of the year for the Titans. Bradley Chubb, defensive rookie of the year for the Dolphins. Okay, so it was, it was a much different offensive, or a much different awards than it has been in the past. And we go to extensions. We traded away everybody that needed an extension that we weren't going to sign. And we don't really have that much money in the first place. I wonder how the Colts did. Mock draft number three. Saints have the top two picks in the draft. That's crazy. But Bosa has jumped all the way back up to number three. I, it was a pipe dream. I didn't think it was actually going to happen. Lions have two first round picks. We have pick 18. And then I obviously have a pick down here in the back. Pick 30. So the Colts didn't do amazing. But they did good enough to screw us. Oh, mock draft number five is going to be very crucial to see what happens. Very, very crucial. So player negotiations. We have 34 million. We're going to accept the option on Ramsey. We're going to accept the option on Bosa. And then it's left with all the guys that I didn't want to sign. So we will let them ride. Let them ride. Let them ride. Let them ride. And we hope and pray that we got ourselves a solid, uh, solid offseason, solid free agency. Because if we don't, I'm going to be a little bit upset. Because I haven't had a good free agency in, in forever. So I really hope that we get one. Here we go. $34 million. We can make some moves if we have a, an option. Sherman. We can break up 
the Legion of Boom. Okay, they've given me something that I wanted. They have. We have some interesting people in this class. Ronald Darby's also here. Okay. Um. Quarterback, we don't need. Running back, we don't need. Wide receiver, we don't need because we're probably going to draft one. Tight end, no. Actually, we could probably use a depth tight end. There's Cameron Bray. We could get Cameron Bray, Cameron Bray back on a cheaper deal. That'd be, I'd be fine with that. He wants to come back. If we give him like a two-year deal, lower his bonus to like two and a half, two and a half. I'd be happy with that. I don't know if he'll accept that, but he's really got nothing else to accept, so he might. Center. I think we're good on it. Marshall Yonda's 34. Would it really be a smart thing to do to get a 34-year-old? Those guys are old, too. Calais Campbell's 33. Eric Armstead's only 25, and he's got no offers. I would not hate Eric Armstead on this team. We can move him to D-Tackle. Because the D-Tackle options aren't better. Everson Griffin, Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy's a star. Look at that. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. No outside linebackers. No middle linebackers. Right outside, probably not. And then corner. You got Darby and you got Sherman. And Sherman wants to be here. Well, tickle my whistle. I like the fact that Sherman likes to be here. Or wants to be here. He's got 17 teams interested in him. He's 31. It would be almost all of our money if we offered this. Or we could go and battle for Ronald Darby and be a little bit better off. We'd save a little bit of money so we can offer other people. I think it's just the smarter thing to offer Ronald Darby. I mean, I know that he wants to be here, but I don't think we can... I don't think we can... It's not financially smart. It's not fiscally smart. Because then we can go and get Eric Armstead. We can get so much value if we go and grab... Armstead as well. That's going to be everybody that I offer, though. We're going to let Sherman walk. And we're going to hopefully bring in these guys. And we do. Dar Darby and Armstead head to New York. You love to see it. Sherman signs with Baltimore. Only on a one-year deal, though. Okay. But we got some guys to help this defense. Instead of getting one really good guy, we got two solid guys. I like that a lot more because now we can make Eric Armstead a D-tackle and he could probably start ahead of Ioannidis. And he might even go up in overall. So we make him a D-tackle and he is an 83 at D-tackle. Perfect. We got Clowney. We add in Ronald Darby. So now we got really good depth at corner. We still need to work on the safety in the, in the linebacker spot. They keep having TJ Watt drop down. He will start at right outside linebacker for us. And then on the offense, we're solid at running back. We're solid at quarterback. We're good enough at receiver right now. We could use another one, but we still have James Washington I'm trying to develop. But we can still use another one. We're good on tight end, and we, we need a little bit of work on the offensive line. But the team is coming together. We've got the, the founding pieces. We've got the founding pieces to the team. We just need to figure out what we're going to do in the draft. I think the smart thing to do is bite the bullet, not take anybody super great, not trade up, and just take what's available to us. Save some of our assets and just ride the board. I think that's going to be our best option. And it looks like Cambrake did sign with us because I just dropped. we just dropped cap room again. So Cambrake comes back on a little bit of a cheaper deal. I'll take that. All right, mock draft number five. What do we got? Bosa and Williams going one and two. Then Devin White, Cleland Farrell, Kyler Murray, Daniel Jones. So Dexter Lawrence. I do I do want to come with one of these guys, but I don't know if we'll be able to. We could trade up from 18, but we could also take Rashawn Gary at 18. And that might be a, a smarter thing to do. And then they have us taking Devin Singletary, but we're not going to do that. We could grab Rashawn Gary at 18. That could be a smart thing to do. Or 
maybe we could trade up from 30 and get one of these guys. That could be fun. That could be fun. We'll see. <laughs> we will see. Private workouts. Let's go to our board. We will use private workouts on... Oh, maybe DK. Eric McCoy, probably. Uh, we know a lot about Rashawn Gary. Dre Greenlaw, I want to know a little bit about, because especially because he's a day three guy, it could be good value. And then... Who else do I want to use one of these on? We have really good depth at corner, so I don't think we need to focus on corner, at least at the top of the draft. If we get like a Jamel Dean in the back half or an Amari, Amani Orware, I would be happy with that, but we definitely don't need to focus on corner this high in the draft. But a, another position that we could focus on, I kind of want to use it on like a Jeffrey Simmons type. Or maybe we use it on Rashawn Gary and just know... Let's let's use it on Rashawn Gary and just know for a fact how good he's going to be. And that can make our decision for us. So let's go to the draft. We know that Gary's going to be there. Unless a team reaches for him a couple picks ahead of us, I doubt that's going to happen. But we know that he's going to be there. So our final projections has us taking... Or has us figuring out how good elton jenkins and eric mccoy are i feel like we got to come away with at least one of these guys gary is around one to two okay let me just throw some feelers around for that 30th pick because who were some of those guys getting taken so it was dexter then brian burns then wilkins then simmons so if we could trade up, I mean, I'll try trade up to nine, but I doubt we'll get there. We could trade up to 10. This could get pretty crazy. Let's trade. We'll talk with the Eagles first. I know it's an in, in division trade, in division conversations, but we'll ask about pick number nine. We have pick number 29. It's a little over half. What kind of depth do we have? Not a whole heck of a lot, do we? I could give them Bishop Sankey. Sankey! And I could give them... I want to give them Richburg, but I don't want to give them away in case we don't end up coming away with a center. I have Kim DJ and Ioannidis now that we don't, we don't need one of them. How about those two? That would put them over the limits. So Sankey's probably out of the deal. All right, that sucks a little bit. We have a lot of depth at, out, at left outside linebacker. Not so much at right outside linebacker. Bringing Ronald Darby makes it interesting for Prince of Mucamara. I know we just re-signed him. And that barely puts them over the cap. So who do you have that's not making a ton of money that you don't like? Jared Goff is their quarterback. They have Larry Fitzgerald on a 29.2 cap hit. In insane. They have Zach Ertz. What kind of depth do you have? Not a whole lot on the offensive line. At least that's cheap. They don't really have any guys that are cheap that would take the money away. And that wouldn't really hurt the hurt our trade offer. I don't like any of these. I mean, we go for like a Keanu Neal, but does that really do anything? Maybe Zach Cunningham? It's just, I don't think Mukamara can get this done either. We're going to have to go elsewhere. It's probably going to have to be draft picks. I didn't want to have to give away draft picks, but it's probably going to have to be. 
I can give away a 2023, 2021-3. I have multiple picks this year, but I didn't really want to give those up. I want to get bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor, baby. Uh, I can give a 5 in 2021. I might have to give a 2 in 2021. Just because we're trading up so highly. I don't have a first round. I gave away my first round pick in 2021. Okay, that helped a lot. It just sucks that the Eagles don't have a lot of cap room. I mean, we don't have a lot of cap room, to be fair, either. But Man, 2021, we are going to be out of picks. <laughs> we are going to be really, really out of everything. If I can find one more player that might get it across. I wish it would be Sankey, but they, don't, they can't take that. It can't be anybody like you. It can't be you guys. I mean, it could be like Josh Sweat. <sighs> Grover Stewart. Ionitis. No. Josh Sweat didn't get it. I didn't think Josh Sweat was going to get it done. I'm just running out of draft picks. I could give away a third round pick, I guess, this year, but I didn't really want to do that. What about Shaq Barrett? Trade offer accepted. Okay, so Shaq Barrett, Kim DJ, a first, a second, and two fours go to the, the Eagles for pick number nine. Now, we have our chance to take any of them, whether it's Dexter Lawrence, Brian Burns, whoever it is. Pick number one is Nick Bosa. Pick number two is Quinn and Williams. That's a dominant defensive line that the Saints just got. Devin White goes to the Bears. Cleveland Farrell to the Niners. Ed Oliver to the Patriots. Kyler Murray to the Titans. Devin Bush. They don't take Daniel Jones. Okay. Marquise Brown to the Washington team. And then we are up now. So we have our pick of Christian Wilkins, of Dexter Lawrence, Brian Burns. We've got a, a lot of guys that we can choose from here. A lot of guys that we can choose from. Now, Dexter Lawrence would probably be the best of the options. But we just got Eric Armstead. We're pretty solid on on D-tackle. But pass rush, we could trade Jev Jadeveon Clowney and get Brian Burns. And I think, with his elite skills, I think that's what we're going to do. Brian Burns at pick number 9 is going to be our first first-round pick. And hopefully... At pick number 18, we can grab a Sean Gary. That's going to be the goal. Josh Allen goes. That would have been a nice pickup, too. Dexter Lawrence, Byron Murphy, Haskins goes to the Browns. They reached. He was supposed to go to the Bengals at pick 21, I think. That's insane. The Ravens did that. Where Sean Gary goes to the Ravens. And now my plans are out of the window. Wow. I did not see that coming whatsoever. I thought we were going to be in perfect position to get Rashawn Gary. Turns out I was wrongo. Wrongo bongo. Well, now it seems like the perfect position to get Elton Jenkins. I think, it, I think this is the spot where we grab Elton Jenkins. And then we can hopefully come back in the second round and grab Eric McCoy. But we're going to grab Jenkins there. Although we pick pretty late in the second round. It might not be a... Might not be a smart idea to wait that long. Garrett Bradbury. DeAndre Baker. Hawkinson. Jawan Taylor. Jonah Williams. Jelani Tavai. Miles Sanders. Chris Lindstrom. Debo. Jonathan Abram. I don't know if we can wait too long. What's the draft board look like? So it has a bunch of tackles. So lucky for us, it doesn't have AJ Brown going or, or AJ Brown or DK going till a little bit later. And then it doesn't even have Eric. I don't even know where Eric McCoy was. Okay, so we're pretty much good on Eric McCoy, I would say. But one of those we got to come with one of those receivers. I don't care. Of course, the Patriots will take Andy Isabella. AJ Brown and DK Metcalf are on the board. You take Andy Isabella. <laughs> Nikhil Harris. Suck it, Eagles. You take Nikhil Harry. JJ Arcega Whiteside. Taylor Rapp. There goes AJ Brown to the AJ Brown to the Browns. 
Drew Locke, Dalton Reisner, DK to the Dolphins. That's okay, because Terry McLaurin's still on the board. McCole Hardman goes. Okay, there's Eric McCoy. And DK, or, um, Terry McLaurin's still down the board. Okay, okay, okay. We can figure this out. We pick at pick 29. It's 10 picks away. I don't know if we can risk it. I don't think we can risk it for the biscuit. McCoy could go at any point. So what we're going to do is we're going to trade up with this pick to the Texans. And hopefully it's not too difficult. They want a little bit extra. I don't really have a little bit extra. I don't, I don't have a lot to give you. I was hoping it wouldn't be that much. You know what? I might have to have to risk it for the biscuit. We might have to let them go a couple. If they if they take Eric McCoy with this pick, I'm gonna be so fuming. Who they take? They didn't take anybody. God, I should have traded up. I hate myself. I hate myself so much. God, I'm just the. I'm just. Oh, I hate myself. Eric McCoy got taken. We're going to grab... Where is he at? Did Terry get taken? I was going to say we're going to grab Terry McLaurin, but he got taken. I didn't see him on the board. I must have missed him. Yeah, Terry McLaurin. Oh, he's here. Oh, I didn't have him on, the... I didn't have him on my board. Okay. I got worried for a second. The draft clock expired. Your... Wait, what? It's paused. Huh? The draft clock expired. Your staff has selected a player to draft for you. What are you talking about? It's paused. I don't have the pick anymore. Huh? What just happened? I could have. I had two second round picks. The draft clock has expired. Your staff has selected. What is going on? Why can't I draft players? It's paused. Make my selection. Maybe I have to unpause it. Terry McLaurin. I want Terry McLaurin. Why won't it let me draft? I don't want to take somebody else. I guess I can take Bobby Okereke. Is it going to let me... Is it going to let me take him? What? I have the pick! What is happening? This has never happened to me before. I did have both the, both the draft picks. It didn't let me take that. I don't even know if it took somebody for me. I guess we'll have to see in the draft recap. Why won't it let me draft? I'm so confused. I feel like I should back out, but then I it's not going to autosave. Or it's going to autosave, but I didn't save the actual file before I, I it's all if i went back to the actual file i'd be back at the start of the regular season i don't want to do that so i guess I, I gotta skip come on let me draft some why is what's happened i've never had this happen before it won't let me draft players because it says that the draft clock is expired first off it's paused so it can't expire my staff has selected a player to draft for you. No, it hasn't. Let me... Madden! I guess we gotta skip to figure out what's happening here. They took David Montgomery. That's not who I wanted to take. Why wouldn't it let me draft? And now it says it's Tampa Bay's pick again. But it says that I can pick a player. I'm so confused. This game sucks. Terry McLaurin's gone now. 
God, I hate this game. I didn't want David Montgomery. Well, I mean, he's a fine player, but that's not who I was going to take. God, I hate this game sometimes, man. Can I take Tony? Can I draft somebody? I give up. I, I freaking... Oh, my God. What is wrong with this game? Is it a mod that's messed up? And the freaking draft. I don't care. Oh, my God. Well, that's not how I wanted that draft to go. <sighs> Who'd they draft for us? They got Dave Montgomery. They took Gardner Minshew. Oh, my God. Dave Montgomery, Hunter Renfro, Foster Moreau, Trace McSorley. Oh, my God. That's a Why? Just because they were on my board? You didn't draft any defense except for Donovan Wilson. Oh, my God. That's not what I wanted. Oh, well, let's just say this was a bad draft. I don't know what was wrong. It said we have all the picks, but it said that I couldn't draft anybody. If you guys have ever come across that, that glitch, let me know if it's a mod or if it's something with Madden. I have no idea what the problem is. All I know is we just had a really bad draft because I wanted you. I, I don't I don't I don't I don't even know what to say like what am I supposed to do I I can't do anything I wanted to draft those guys but I couldn't and I don't even know why it was paused the draft card didn't inspire I had plenty of time I didn't get the receiver that I wanted I mean we have Hunter Renfrew fine he's he's fine <laughs> that's not who I wanted though Unbelievable. Unfrickin' believable. Now we have David Montgomery, who he's a he's a fine running back. I didn't want David Montgomery. We got Brian Burns. I could stand Brian Burns up on the on the edge, but I think he's going to stay behind Clowney for a season and then we'll trade Jedevan Jeff Clowney next next episode. Maybe we can grab something for him. But I'm just uh, I'm just depressed now. <laughs> That's as simple as it is. I'm just depressed that the, that went the way that it did. Let me know if I made a mistake or if Madden just sucks or something. I, let me know what happened. If you know what happened, let me know what happened. Because I'm confused. And I'm very frustrated, very upset, very sad. Uh, and I kind of want to be done. So that's going to do it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the G Club. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.